Oh, whoops, I put bro calamity. Bros, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we got... Meza rocking a Shadow Mewtwo. And D-Curve rocking the little green zona right here. She She's not too bad, but she's got some dirty stuff that, that get annoying. She's got some really nice setups. The only problem I can really see is that... um. <clears throat> The homie pedal is just, just driving people, me insane. People don't know how to set up with her very well yet. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, since people don't know how to set up well, you can't exactly use setups that you don't know how to use. You know what I mean? Definitely. All right, so nice. He's got him in the corner. He's still on dual phase. Always great. Meza likes to do that a lot. Just move in quick for the grab. But it's rough. I mean, he's only got 89 life left already. All right. Why? Oh, uh, wait. I think these are backwards. Yeah, the okay. names are backwards. I'm like, look at his <coughs> picture. I'm like, why, why is his life bar at, at the top? And also, right next to um, our little Meza versus D-Curb, we have the uh, gamepad that's showing us Poro the other fight, yeah. versus, I don't see who Poro is playing. He's playing Lucario. Against Lucario. Anyway. Oh, nice. That was Cancels. a really nice use of uh, teleport. Now, when he teleports, what's the recovery? Uh, recovery is super fast. I oh, don't wow, think it's punishable. So you can use it pretty offensively. Yes, definitely. I've had many Shadow Mewtwo's do that against me. That's pretty dirty. That was actually a really nice cancel there. <sighs> He's going to jump the second part. Oh, he actually got hit by the first part. Didn't expect that. That, oh. that, I'm kind of surprised that he did that. That might have been a missed input. That's gonna. Uh, I don't know. What was miss the of that either. That you? I thought they hit the whole screen. Now I'm just confused. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Mezzi should just chill until. Oh. oh, just stay in the air. Stay in the air. No. Nope. Oh, that's rough. Apparently that hits super high. <laughs> I think Mezzi just thought he totally had it and. <laughs> He popped the burst and it, it caused him. I feel like you should just use burst as a free get off me when you have a, a really good healthy life lead. Like not just pop it for the sake of popping it. Like he didn't even need to pop it to go it for the kill. The only character I would say really do that with is uh, Suicune. Alright, let's see. I feel like Mez is going to go right in. Alright, gets the slide. Uh, just backs off. Uh, has him in the corner and backs off again. Oh, that was real nice. All Although right. I thought you could come, I thought you could combo off of uh, Gardevoir's two Y. So it was interesting that she went for the gram there. All right, Mezes has to really get in there. He's got burst. Nice, wow. nice. And that is the first game. First game for D curve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, our images right now. Yeah, are the a little wonky. The a little backwards. Right pictures now. are switched. All right, getting right back into it. Same characters. We will. All right, so we stay in Sh Shadow Mewtwo against Gardevoir. All right, Gardevoir is going. And he's sticking for with the Cubone. That one. I'd rather not say that because they were they oh. we are within earshot, and that's supposed to be double blind. <coughs> that is my mistake. Okay. Um. All right, and so it looks like Meza went with the Lapras again. Lapras is a really interesting choice here. Oh, that was a mistake. That recover. I don't know how many times I've accidentally recovered when I've been playing Shadow Mewtwo. That happens a lot. Oh, nice healthy chunk of damage. But Meza's got a lot to recover. If Okay, so that beats oh. that projectile but loses to others. It's so weird. Yeah, best safe to block. But d probably just going to want to zone. Oh, it just goes in. I think that was a bad idea. Yeah, but he just healed a hundred... Meza healed 100 damage from getting that hit into dual phase, yeah. and then he just healed 60 more damage. I, th I think he should just zoned out that one one last hit point and kept that at that. I don't know. Against anybody else, I would have probably said yes. Oh, this is going to be weird. Okay, so they both whiffed. <laughs> against anybody else, I would have said yes, but against Shadow Mewtwo, since he can heal himself, uh, he doesn't actually have one health at that point. Oh wow, just snuck it in there.
Gotta remember to be quiet now <laughs> during the assist picking. All right, so they go both go with the same assist. Yeah, I I think it's the right choice for both of them. How about you? I'm not totally sure if I would agree with Cubone. Cubone tends to pull you in, and that's not exactly what God of War wants. Yeah, wants them to push you out. These are two heavy zoners in field, though. So this is very interesting seeing these two fight like this. But he does have that dive kick, which I'm pretty sure is punishable on block. But I haven't done Mewtwo data yet. Uh, Ooh, that was a nice fake out. Ooh, nice to make that safe. Just able to get that out of there. That was a really nice play by Meza. Meza's got to... I mean, he's not in any big rush right now. He can still... Ooh, actually, nice. he should just zone him out. He's now, hit. Deep Curb is close to getting burst. Oh, this no. might kill. Oh, that's rough. There goes that's Shadow Mewtwo. Goes, yeah. Oh, Meza and that's it down. for Meza. So, Deep Curb takes it. That's rough. Because I think he wanted to save it for the third round. It looked pretty good for him. And then and then actually got got stuffed. All right, so next up, who do we have? Yeah, I don't know who's next. I got to pull up the challenge. Sorry, guys. Bros, Calamity. I just Google Bros, Calamity challenge, and it's always just at the very top. Shin Phoenix versus Vivid. All right, Shin Phoenix. All right, these are two car I'm sorry, two players that I do not know. Yeah. So this will be interesting. So Shin to see. Phoenix is a Street Fighter player. He's just learning this game as he just keeps coming here. So Shadow Mewtwo versus <coughs> again. <and> Gardevoir. <coughs> sorry about that. Um, call for to the mic. <laughs> All right, Bros Calamity. Did you say Shin Mewtwo? You mean Shin Phoenix? Shin. No, I said Shin and Shadow Mewtwo. Okay. Okay. Shin Mewtwo. And then we got ECJ Vivid. Uh, I think is this his first time here? Seems pretty new. Got a little young gamer tonight. Oh, well, apparently I play the winner of this, so that'll be interesting. Yep. Versus Apple <coughs> Doom. We got. Are, are you F in this? Me? Yeah, I'm at the top, but Goomba's not here yet. Oh, I thought you were Rob Z. Yeah, yeah, that's me. It says. Oh, uh, uh, oh, yeah, just saying. Anyway. Sorry, we're looking at the challenge. It's on bros calam bl bros uh, dash calamity dot challenge dot com. If anybody's asking, ooh, it looks like we got an interesting setup. Oh, and he's using uh, he's using Wii U Pro controller. Do you think we're gonna see Bido? <laughs> I I g I'm fine with all the controllers, honestly. But I do think I like the like true controller for <laughs> it the most. Do you think we're gonna see some uh, poke in Bido? Nah, nah, I. Well, I know Shin's not going to be doing. It. I, don't, I don't think anyway, but I could. I could always be wrong. So, anyway, all right. So we're going in with this. Yeah. So we got. Uh, now, what are your feelings on the different? Um, oh, it looks like we're actually starting this. But yeah, what are your feelings, real quick, on?